pedal pedal is derived from parallel distributed deep learning. So we normally call it a deep learning framework. It is used to develop deep learning algorithms. Pedal pedal is more oriented for industrial use compared to others. And we dedicated a lot of effort to reduce the barriers to entry for individuals and companies. It's not just a deep learning framework. We developed a lot of end-to-end -end development kits and other different components and toolkits in order to help developers better use deep learning frameworks and to uh, reduce the gap between such tools and real applications. So I think this is how Pedal Pedal is different from TensorFlow or PyTorch. In China, there is a county called Shouguang in Shandong province. That's a large bay for China's vegetables. So there are a lot of vegetable sheds to be maintained during the whole year, not just in summer or spring. In order to better manage such vegetable bases, they started to deploy AI. For example, only two people and one APP can manage dozens of vegetable sheds. Paddlesack, it can be used for segmentation of, of images. And for pedal detection, it can be used for object detection. So different tools have their own application scenarios fits the developer's requirements as well. In my opinion, it's very important as well for such platforms to further reduce the barrier to entry for individuals and companies, including big models. If we have big models, actually these big models is a way of reduce the barrier. Because if you have this foundation model, you can just adapt this model to a specific scenario, then it will work. If you don't have this one, you need to develop everything from scratch 